Do you have a legal question you would like answered? If so, give us a call. The number is 436 12 12. We have Chris O'Hara here to answer those questions for you. Hey, Chris, welcome. Thanks for being on the show today. Uh, President Obama, the big talk right now is his proposed executive actions on gun control, and that would greatly affect a lot of people. What is the deal with background checks now, and why aren't uh, online sellers or some private sellers required to do background checks? Well, the law, there is law in effect right now regarding mm -hmm. what needs to take place in order for someone to buy a gun in order for someone also you know, in certain situations to sell a gun. Uh, what I think the executive action that he's trying to take, executive order, uh, is regarding private, a lot of it has to do with private sellers. Mm -hmm. And you know the big issue with all this is that this is something that's a uh, right that's protected under the Constitution, under mm -hmm. the Second Amendment, uh, the right to bear arms. And what you've got here is the president and the executive branch just issuing an order himself which is in effect law. Mm -hmm. And the legislature is is the is supposed to be the area that uh, passes laws mm -hmm. and the part of the branch of the government that passes laws. But the president's left with trying to uh, be able to manage the government and issue in 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 a way that uh, to make sure that everything runs smoothly. And so you've got two ends of the spectrum here. One 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 portion saying that. Uh, the executive order is a way infringing on constitutional rights, mm -hmm. and then you've got the other end saying he's just, you know, in, the, the president's just interpreting the laws and helping them make sure they, you know, they run smoothly. It's an interesting, uh, interesting question here. If somebody does purchase a gun and gifts it to somebody else, uh, is that a possibility? Because uh, who would be registered with the gun? Do you have to register that if it's given to you as a, as a gift? Well, and that's part of what I, at this point is subject to interpretation because okay. the executive order. Uh, it, it, it's saying that sellers are the people that are going to have to be able to be licensed at that stage, mm -hmm. licensed in order to sell a gun. And it doesn't really strictly define what that is, and that's typically why laws are in place. I know executive order ultimately becomes a law, but that's usually the place of the legislature. And, you know, you've got a situation where you've got some competing branches of the government and obviously a lot of politics involved in it, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it's a very interesting legal issue in that it's, it's one, an executive order that's actually implementing policy regarding our constitutional rights. Yeah, it's, it's a big, uh, big snarl right there, and it should be worked out here pretty soon. We do have a caller on the line with a question, so caller, if you want, go ahead and ask your question now to Chris. Uh, yes, I'd like to ask him about a trust that I have. How can I dissolve it? Well, if you were the one who actually enacted the trust or you created the trust um, at, at this stage, then you, you're going to have to go, you're going to have to, whatever the parameters of the trust are and whatever the language that's contained in the document that ultimately created the trust, uh, if you went through an attorney, you're probably going to need to talk to the attorney that created it or another attorney that's, that's involved in that particular area. Mm -hmm. And there's certain steps you legally have to take in order to dissolve the trust. And, that's something you need to probably talk to your attorney about. All right. Thanks so much, Chris, for being here. Thanks for your call. We're back here in just a minute.